Hey, Patrick here. Got another episode in my how-to series. Today, uh, my son's truck's not starting. I suspect it's the uh, terminals are bad. We just replaced the battery, but there was a lot of corrosion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the terminals, both negative and positive. He's gonna actually do the work, and uh, I'm gonna share it with you guys. All right, so what we're doing is we're removing the old battery terminals. We're going to put brand new battery terminals on. These battery terminals were covered with corrosion. Even though we cleaned off the corrosion, the vehicle still is having trouble starting. And uh, I suspect that the connections are bad because the bolts are stripping out. So it's worth starting fresh, about $7 for the parts, which is not bad for a, uh, a better starting vehicle. The battery's brand new from Walmart, $60. So hopefully for $70 will be back up and running. So what we're doing now is cleaning the ends of the wires for both the negative and the positive side to make sure that there's no corrosion, that the wires, that the copper wires are clean. Yeah, make sure you get all sides. Make sure you blow off the junk on each one when you're done. And then I want you to go ahead and put these yeah, back on. All right. So ends of the wires are clean. Battery. Battery studs are clean. We're using the proper tools so we're uh, not stripping the nut heads or bolt heads. All right, so what I want you to do is go ahead and, and tighten these, both of these. And use the proper. Now, is this what you used before? Okay. All right, so now you're set. So what you wanna do is put those under there together. Start with the larger one, lift that up. You notice there's a little bit of a, of a trough there where that thing's gonna go, right? Try to get all the way in there. Now put the other one in with it. right there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold them and you're gonna go equal points you're gonna have to get a different size wrench let's use the proper wrench oh, yeah, yeah. and I want you to just go down slam you know a little bit on one side and a little bit on the other side so a few turns on one bolt a few turns on the other bolt so we don't have it lopsided we want a equidistant squeeze Connection. All right. So in this case, they're they're together. Try to squash. Yeah, exactly. Try to squish them together. So I try to put them in that trough and as far in as possible. connection by the way so you don't want to be aware. Don't touch the other lead. Just like you did with the other one. You know, go down a few turns on each side.
pull that out of there. I'll take that. All right. you push the tools away properly. I'll go ahead and give you that and you can actually put it in the toolbox when you put the tool, put those tools back into the toolbox. I think it's going to start. Go ahead and put the wire brush back into the toolbox. Leave the toolbox where it is for now. We're going to have one more thing we're going to spray on there, but I want you to try it first. <laughs> what okay all right success right yeah. all right fantastic it went from when you explained it to me on the phone it sounded like a loose connection typically when there's a loose connection you know there's just enough connection that you'll get enough power to kind of start to try to turn the starter but not enough to give the starter yeah. so you've got what you got is you're cranking your cold cranking amps and then you're cranking amps you have to have a good amount of amps in order to turn that starter. Okay, so what we're gonna do, last thing, that penetrating oil, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray a little bit of that penetrating oil on each one of those leads, just a little bit. Okay, that's good. All right, that's it. All right, so. All right, fantastic. Mission accomplished, truck's ready to go.